Hello, everyone. Welcome to our booth here at Mitsubishi Fuso. I'm Carl Deppen, President and CEO of Mitsubishi Fuso Truck and Bus Corporation. Thank you very much for taking your time and be with us today. To advance alongside customers, drivers, and society, we are introducing innovative technologies and services that meet tomorrow's challenges today. With that in mind, our booth here shows both future-oriented solutions and also showcases various partnerships and collaborations we have built together with our partners. That's what we call Future Together. Let me quickly walk through what awaits you here at Mitsubishi Fuso. At our eCanto Solutions area, we'll be unveiling our world premiere of Kobody. This is a revolutionary smart body digital solution. The concept showcased on our e-counter, it's Japan's first series produced all electric light duty truck. You know the truck already, but with Kobody, it integrates smart, human-centric design with optimized route planning and parcel loading. In times of driver shortage for the industry, this helps to reduce the burden on drivers, it shortens loading and unloading times, and it ensures more efficient deliveries and fleet management for business owners. Now, you are all wondering what's under the sheets here to your left, so I won't keep you waiting any longer. We have two hydrogen-powered heavy-duty concept trucks making their world premiere here at Japan Mobility Show 2025. Why two? And why hydrogen when we have already have the electric e counter Well, we don't believe there is a one-size-fits-all solution to carbon-neutral transportation. We need to evaluate multiple technologies to find the best fit for our customers, their diverse needs, and for society. So, which technology should we offer to the market? That depends heavily on external factors, such as hydrogen supply chain and availability, infrastructure development, the price of green hydrogen, customer requirements, and so on. These factors change over time, and we cannot control or fully predict those changes. That is the reason we decided to keep flexibility and develop two hydrogen technologies in parallel. Now, let's take a look. What you just witnessed could well be the future of long-haul transportation. We were first with the e-counter, and now we are about to present two more firsts to you today. Let's start with our H2Is. Our H2Is is a heavy-duty truck with a hydrogen-fueled internal combustion engine and a range of up to 700 kilometers. We have taken the proven diesel engine and modified it 
to run on hydrogen, allowing us to reuse 80% of current engine components. It is a powertrain that drives already now and trust with a lower initial purchase cost than a conventional fuel cell vehicle. Building on proven technology, this way we could make the transition of hydrogen-powered vehicles faster and smoother for the entire industry. Now, let me also tell you about our second vehicle, the H2FC. Now this is our H2FC, and it takes a different approach. It's powered by a fuel cell system which has higher efficiency and lower running cost. The prototype you see here today boasts a range of up to 1,200 kilometers, refueling in just 15 minutes, and has a compact fuel tank that don't impede to the load body. And you can check it out on the vehicle. In other words, it offers the range, the uptime, the cargo space that logistic customers need for real-world operations. How is that possible? Most fuel cell vehicles store hydrogen gas as compressed gas, but we use subcooled liquid hydrogen. With this, we can expect greatly reduced hydrogen transportation cost, simple and faster refueling, and simpler infrastructure and fuel stations. Longer range and quicker refueling means that each refueling station can have a greater area and cover more areas, so you need fewer stations. While the price for hydrogen is currently higher than the price of diesel, the use of subcooled liquid hydrogen could cut the investment need for hydrogen stations in half. This SLH2 refueling technology was developed by Daimler Truck and Lindy Engineering, but it is based on an open ISO standard that anyone can adopt, and we are proud to present it the first time ever to Japan. We have already partnered with Iwatani Corporation to study the adoption of subcooled liquid hydrogen in Japan. And very important, we are inviting others across the supply chain and the industry, logistic companies, to join us in further pursuing technology and contribute to Japan's hydrogen society for modern transportation. We are inviting them to help us building the future together. The new era of trucks has begun, and together we can shape what comes next. Please learn more about these solutions with our easy-to-understand activities on the booth. Enjoy our exhi exhibitions and talk shows and technology explanations. We look very much forward to all seeing you here at Mitsubishi Fuso. Thank you very much.